Hey everybody, the following is an excerpt from the monthly Roto Roundup, and if you'd like to see the rest of the Roundup, you can hit that I up in the top right corner of the screen, or if you'd like to know more about the game, you can follow the link down in the show notes. And with that out of the way, let's talk about the White Castle Matcha expansion. Now this one I was very excited about because White Castle made my top 10 games of the year. Uh, and a lot of people's, uh, you, know, it, it, you know, it's ranked incredibly high, probably the most critically acclaimed um, game the publisher De Vere has put out for quite a while. Uh, design duo Israel and Shea did a great job. White Castle was so special because it was an interesting, crunchy game uh, about drafting dice off these lovely little um, bridges that uh, lets you advance, you know, uh, you know, send your courtiers to work their way for the favor of the daimyo, or, you know, develop gardeners that will give you special powers at the end of rounds, depending on how the dice get drafted, or, you know, uh, build up military to give you special powers in other places. The thing that was so great about the White Castle is it was a crunchy game with lots of really great, fun, combo chain goodness, and it was fast because you only drafted nine dice. You take nine turns over the course of the game. It's fast, it's fun, it's deep. It was freaking brilliant. So I was very, very excited to check out the first expansion for it, uh, Matcha, which I was kind of bummed. Um, I, I got to admit, uh, it's, it's, it, don't get wrong, it's great. I'm sure a lot of people are going to love it because here's the main thing it does. It adds a fourth bridge with a new color dice, the green dice, that are associated with the, um, the geishas, which are a new uh, series of actions you can do that are interestingly kind of a combination of all the other actions. They've got a little bit of gardening in them. They've got a little bit of soldiering. They've got a little bit... And they definitely deepen the game, add a lot of new decisions to make. And of course they do, because now the game lasts for 12 rounds instead of nine. You're going to draft 12 dice instead of nine dice now um, because there's the extra dice thrown into the mix. And that's the bummer. I love everything about these new dice. I love the new, you know, uh, challenges. I love that there's a bunch of really cool new special powers that are added. Uh, there's a new resource you can collect. Um, you know, there's a lot of great stuff here. But the game gets, what is that? If you, if you go from 9 to 12, is that 30% longer? Is that 25% longer? Either way, it's not what I was looking for. Because what I love about, um, you know, the, uh, the White Castle is how it does more with less. It gets you in, it gets you out. Nine tough, agonizing decisions. So you'd say, oh, 12 is better, right? And yeah, I'm sure for some people it will be. I'm sure some people are saying, yes, finally, I can spend more time. But that's not what I wanted. Uh, it makes White Castle a little less special now that it's getting closer to a more traditional 90-minute long Euro. And, you know, these days I want shorter, faster Euros. I want to play two games in the time, and I just don't like this direction. So I was a little disappointed. All the gameplay is great. It's very well considered. I just wish, wish, wish Israel and Shea had said, you know what? Yeah, there's this new bridge. There's these new dice. But you know what? You're still only going to draft nine. The game's going to be exactly as long as it ever was. You just got more tough decisions because are you going to grab those orange dice? Or, hey, are you going to dabble in those green dice? But you can still only grab nine. I wish that's the way it went. I wish the game hadn't gotten longer. Don't get me wrong. It's still probably shorter than your average Euro than your average Steffenfeld game, or Uwe Rosenberg game, or, you know, or Danny Garcia game, or, um, you know, T game from, um, you know, Board and Dice, wherever it might be. But still, I don't like this direction. I'm hoping if the game gets more expansions, what I'm hoping is it doesn't go to, oh, now it's a 15-round game. That would be horrible. But I'm hoping the developers, maybe somewhere down the road, they say, well, you know what? You can still play nine rounds. Just do these little tweaks here, and you can still have the short, fast game with the extra crunch. That's what I want. That's what I was looking for in White Castle Match, and it didn't give me. So that's why it comes in at number nine. Looking forward to playing it with Jen. I've actually brought it with us here on the road. So you're probably, well, backers of the show um, who get to watch Jen Jog will get to hear what she thinks probably next month when I play it with her. But anyway, that was it for number nine of the month. Now, and thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference, believe me. But with that out of the way, if you'd like to see some more, over on the left, you can find a playlist of a whole bunch more Rotto Rapid Reviews. Up in the top right, there's the latest thing that's been added to the channel. And in the bottom right, you've got something YouTube recommends. Okay, folks, thanks for watching.